In this video, we're going to introduce some common integration formulas and do some examples. So the first formula is the formula for the integral of 1 over x with respect to x. So this is going to be equal to the natural log of the absolute value of x plus our constant c. Obviously here, x is not 0. But the way, another way to write this would be the integral of x to the negative 1 dx. So recall that when you had the power rule, you would just add 1 and divide. But the power rule excluded the case where n was negative 1, right? If you try to add 1 here, you get x to the 0 over 0, and that is just a fail. <laughs> so um, that doesn't work. So that's a, uh, this is a very useful formula. Let's do a simple example of it over here so you see how it works. Let's say we have the indefinite integral of 1 over 2 minus x dx. So in this case, it almost looks like 1 over x. So what you would do is you would make a u substitution, right? You would let u be equal to 2 minus x, and then du. That's equal to negative dx, taking the derivative. And recall that when you make u substitutions, you try to make um, this look like what's in your integrand. So we don't have a negative sign in our integrand, so we multiply or divide both sides by negative 1. And that brings us here. So now we can make our substitution. Our dx is negative du. This is negative, pulling the negative out. du and then we're left with 1 over u. And so now we can apply the formula, right? The formula says that the integral of 1 over u du is ln absolute value of u. So this is minus ln absolute value of u plus our constant c. And then you just replace u with what it is, negative ln absolute value 2 minus x plus c. So that's a, an important formula, and this was just a quick, simple example. The other important formulas we're going to look at are the following. So the integral of tangent x with respect to x dx, this is going to be negative ln absolute value of cosine x plus c. And you could work this one out using a similar technique. You could write tangent as sine over cosine and then use the formula from 1 to do it. So I'll leave that to you if you want to try it. Uh, cotangent, cotangent is similar. This is equal to ln absolute value of sine x plus c. And again, if you wanted to show the work for this one, or you know, you could memorize it or show the work. I usually think about it. For example, cotangent is sine over cosine. I know, um, no, sorry, cotangent is cosine over sine. I know that you can make the bottom equal to u, so the bottom is going to be sine, and then so you're going to get a natural log with the sine. Here, tangent is sine over cosine, the bottom is cosine, so you know you're going to get a natural log and a cosine. The negative comes because the derivative of cosine is negative sine, so 4. Uh, the integral of secant, this one is not so obvious, so this one takes some work. Uh, this is equal to the natural log of the absolute value of secant plus tangent and then plus c. So this is one that people often forget. Um, it's worth working out uh, this problem. I have a video uh, on this one so you should, you should check it out. It's a really cool problem. And last but not least, the integral of cosecant x dx. This is negative ln absolute value cosecant x plus cotangent x plus c. This one is very similar to secant, so if you watch the video on secant, in theory, uh, you should be able to do this one. So, uh, And again, the ones for tangent and cotangent, let me just at least briefly describe cotangent over here. So if you have cotangent of x dx, you would write that as cosine x over sine x. Well, I guess I might as well finish it for you. It's not so bad. And then you let u be sine x. And then so du is simply cosine x dx. So that's your numerator. Your numerator is du. So this is just du. 
and then on the bottom you get u. So it's really simple. By the way, this is the same thing as 1 over u du, right? It's the same thing. du over u is the same as 1 over u times du. And this gives you ln absolute value of u, but u is sine x. And then we have our plus c, right? ln absolute value of u, but u is sine x. So, so the formula checks. You can do tangent the same way. So typically what I do when I see these, tangent and cotangent, is um, I think about this in my head. I just think about what's on the bottom, and I go through the process, and then I'm able to write it down. As far as secant and cosecant, well, um, once you work out cosecant on your own, check out the video, um, you'll never forget it. It's such a cool trick. So. so I hope this video has been helpful. The purpose of this video was simply to introduce some formulas and hopefully help you with some memorization techniques for memorizing these. So that's it.